atmosphere. The atmosphere is changed. It's all about Him. Oh, don't give up. Don't stop praising His wonderful name. For you, they're out there on the on the Wi-Fi. We have set an atmosphere here in this house. We have set an atmosphere here in this house. So I need you to set an atmosphere in your house, where you are. Let everybody know in your house, if you gotta wake them up, you gotta shake them up, you gotta stir them up, let them know that he is real. God is here. He has blessed us. There is none other like the mighty Lord. We are here to serve him. We are here to lift up his holy name. His holy name. My name is Yolindia Gray. I will be your host for today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'll praise his name. We welcome you to Emmanuel Covenant Church International, where our motto is helping people to change their world, letting them know that God is in control here. He has his way. There is none like the lowly Jesus. There's no one that can do you like he can do you. No one that can make a, a bad situation into not just a good situation, but a wonderful situation, a marvelous situation. He is the judge, and he judges all. He's the one that's going to judge you. He's the one that know how you've been serving him. See, he, he died on that cross for you and me. He's seen something special. From 2,000 years plus, he sees now that it's something special. Something that... You wouldn't have known that was just going to come to fruition, but he knew. He said, I love you. Oh, there's no one. There is none like you. You see, my heart like you do and I can search for all eternity Lord and find there is none like you whoa there
But there's no one that's going to do you like him. I don't care where you go. I don't care how. You can look high. You can look low. You can look in the middle. And there's no one like Jesus, the mighty Lord. So I'm just saying, just praise his name. Come on, won't you lift your hands in this place? No one else can touch my heart like you do. We've searched all over. I can search for eternity long and find there is none. There is none like you, oh. Give him a praise in this place. Give God a praise in this place. There is none like him in all the earth. Hallelujah. And we know this because on the third day, he got up. Hallelujah. 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 He was in a grave, but on the third day, he got up with all power in his hands. And so we come to give him our awesome praise this morning we say happy resurrection day to you hallelujah and it's not anything new because we we celebrate his resurrection every single day but for those who have come we welcome you and we say happy resurrection day to you hallelujah now we are going to give our god a radical praise in this place hallelujah we're gonna praise him because if it had not been for the lord that was on our side hallelujah hallelujah who's come to bless him in this house hallelujah who's come to give him all of your adoration and praise hallelujah so i'll praise his name this morning hallelujah let's praise him hallelujah i'll praise your name oh god your holy name We come to praise the name of the Lord. We come to praise the name of our risen Savior. Hallelujah. We come to praise the name, hallelujah, of him who he was, is, and is to come. Hallelujah. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name. Not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. I'll praise, I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. Clap your hands all over the house. Come on and let's get excited. We're here to celebrate our risen Savior, our risen King. Hallelujah. No one deserves the praise and the glory except Him. Come on. Oh, I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name. Not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. Again, I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name. Not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. Come on, you say it. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name, your holy name. I'll praise your name. Not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. I'll praise, I'll praise your name, your holy name. I 
name, I'll praise your name. Your holy name, I'll praise your name. Not just today, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. Oh, when the praises go up, praises go up. The blessings come down, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, praises go up. The blessings come down, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, praises go up. The blessings come down, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, praises go up. The blessings come down. Oh, God's got a blessing for you. Come on, look at your neighbor and tell him God's got a blessing for you. Do you believe it? God's got a blessing for you. It's yours today. God's got a blessing for you. Oh, with your name. With on your it. name. With on your it. name. With on your it. name. With on your name. With your name. With your name. With your name. On it's yours today. With your name. On your it. name. With your name on it, it long to with you. your name on your it, name with on your name on it. Oh, when the praises go up, praises go up, blessings come down, blessings come down, praises go up, praises go up, blessings come down, blessings come down, praises go up, praises go up, blessings come down, blessings come down, praises go up, praises go up, blessings come down, blessings come down, when the praises go up, praises go up, healing comes down, healing comes down, when the praises go up, praises go up, healing comes down. Heal and come down. When the praises go up, praise go up. Joy comes down. Joy comes down. When the praises go up, praise go up. Joy comes down. Joy comes yeah. down. God's got a blessing for you. Do you believe it? God's got a blessing for you. I believe it's mine. God's got a blessing for you. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? God's got a blessing for you. Oh, oh. you can have it. Reach up and grab Come it. Come on. You can have it. Reach up and, and grab, grab it. It's yours. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. Come on. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. With your name on 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 it. Come on, let's praise him right there. Praise him right there. That's a good way and a good place to get some footwork in this morning. Let's praise the name of our King. Hallelujah. Yay. Hallelujah. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. Every blessing. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. Every blessing. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. Every blessing. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's joy. I believe it's mine. Yes. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe the healing. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. I believe it's mine. Hey, hey, God's got a blessing for you. God's got a blessing for you. Come on and grab it. Hey, God's got a blessing for you. Do you believe it? Hey, God's got a blessing for you. Come on, receive it now. God's got a blessing for you. 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 Do you believe it? God's got a blessing for you. Come on, ECCI. We're celebrating Resurrection Sunday today. We're celebrating that our God got up. Our Savior got up. And because he got up, we can get up. We can get up from all adversity. We get up from all sickness and pain. We get up from lack. We get up right now. Hallelujah. We get up from all doubt. We get up from all fear. We get up from everything that is contrary to the word of our risen King. Come on. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach Come up on, and it's grab prophetic. it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach
Reach up and grab it. You can have it. Reach up and grab it. Come on. Let's move. A little bit more. Come on. Let's move. A little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Let's move. A little bit more. It won't hurt. Let's move. A little bit more. He's blessing us. He's blessing us. Hey. He's blessing us. Hey. He's blessing us over and over and over again. Hey, yes. Over and over and over again. He's blessing us over and over and over again. He's blessing us over and over and over again. He's blessing us over and over and over again. He's healing us over and over and over again. He's healing us over and over and over again. Your breakthrough. Over and over and over again, get your breakthrough. Over and over and over again, get your breakthrough now. Over and over and over again, he's blessing us. Over and over, over and over, over and over, over and over, over and over. Hey, over and over, over and over, over and over. Do you feel it? Over and over. over Do you feel over. it? Do you feel it this morning? Over and over. Do you feel it this morning? Do you over feel over. your over and over blessing? Do you feel your over and over again blessing? It's a continual praise for a continual blessing. 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 A continual praise. For a continual blessing, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Come on, just reach up and grab it in this place. There are miracles. There are healings. Hallelujah. And it's all because of the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give your God a great praise in this place. Come on, lift it up to him. We honor you. Hallelujah. We bless you in this place, oh God. Because it's all about you. It's all because of you. Hallelujah. I will Hallelujah. bless the Lord. Oh, we bless you, oh God. Oh, my soul. Let's 
Say that again. He has done great things. Yeah. He has done great things. Come on, look back over your life. You ain't got to look that far. He has done great things. Hallelujah. He has done great things. Let's to sing this again and when you're singing bless his holy name you're not thinking about your neighbor you're not thinking about anything you're not thinking about what you got going on after this you're thinking about the reasons why you have to bless his holy name and when you think about those reasons that you have to bless his holy name you will begin you can't help but to say thank you Jesus and to give him praise and to lift up your voice in the atmosphere because he has truly been a great God a great God he has truly been the one that has kept us and has brought us to this place where we're at so we're gonna bless the Lord together I'm just gonna ask if you are able to if you can stand in your feet in reverence of the presence of God that we can sing this song as a collective body and I will I will I will bless Oh, oh, my soul. oh my soul And oh, and oh, and oh, and oh, oh God, we bless you All that is within us Bless his oh, Bless his holy name That means there's no other name No other name, oh yes, hallelujah No other name greater than his name Oh come on, we're gonna do it again Think about the goodness of God I will bless He has done great things. Come on. He has done great things. Oh, yes, he has. He's done great things. He's done great things. He has done great things. Oh, yes, he has. He's done great things. He has done great things. Oh, look at your neighbor and say, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bless his holy name. changes he is a God that is the same yesterday today and forevermore oh God we bless you he is a God that is already 
done the work. He's already done it before the foundation of the world because he thought about you. He thought about me and he said it's already done. It's already finished. I've already completed it. I've already won the victory for you and for you and for you. I've already set you up to be able to be the best. Hallelujah. I've already set you up to overcome every obstacle. I've already set it up that you would not be shackled by the enemy. You would not be shackled by the things in your life. I've already set it up. He is just that good God. He is just that great God. And for that, we got to give him praise. For that, we got to give him glory. That's it. For that, we got to worship him. That's it. For that, we got to bless him. For that, we got to lay down and prostrate our spirit in his presence. He said, I'm the same, oh God, yesterday, today, and forevermore. And because I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, I change not. Everything I have for you is already set. Now, if you want the blessing of God to come down and rain on you right here in this moment, in faith, I want you to lift a praise out of your mouth. And when you lift that praise out of your mouth, you are hitting the pinata of heaven that everything that belongs to me has got to come down. Everything that is purpose for me, it's got to be released. Uh, everything that belongs to me uh, it's got to be magnetic uh, to my life uh, come on and give God praise uh, right here in this moment bless your God uh, 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 he's worthy bless We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for keeping us, Jesus. You thank you for keeping us in our right mind. I thank you for keeping our health, Jesus. I thank you for keeping my family, Jesus. I thank you for keeping my church, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the youth. I thank you for the media. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you today, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Because you first loved us. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Because you first loved us. Lord, 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 Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. We magnify you. We glorify you. We petition to you, Jesus. Have your way in this place. Have your way in this place. Rain down your glory. Rain down your love. Rain down your redemption. Rain it down, Jesus. Holy, 
His name is perfect. His name is redemption. His name is restoration. His name is love. His name, his name, his name is so holy. It's so holy. He's so holy. He's so holy. We give you the glory, Jesus. We give you the honor, Jesus. We worship you today, Jesus. You deserve it all, Jesus. We don't give it back, Jesus. We give it all to you, Jesus. We give it all to you, Lord. His holy name. name is holy name. So There's something special about that. you Jesus holy to your name Lord holy to your name Lord holy 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 he's so full of glory he's so full of the glory Amen. we worship you today Lord we worship you today Lord holy 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 Holy, holy, joy with the angels. Holy, 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 hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. Holy, 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 holy is your name, Jesus. Oh, We thank you, Jesus. It's something about that name, hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Let the glory of the Lord fill this place, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah. And we lift up our hands today, Jesus, and say, Lord, you deserve it, Lord. We worship you today, Jesus. We're not holding back nothing, hallelujah. We don't got no dignity, hallelujah. But we're going to worship you like David did, hallelujah. You can laugh at us. You can talk about us. But we're going to worship God, hallelujah. What he 
deserves, hallelujah. He deserves the highest praise. He deserves the highest glory. He deserves all the honor. He deserves it in this place. And I decree, hallelujah, that we are going to hit the iota of God, hallelujah. Like co pastor said, there's a pinata in the spirit. And I decree, hallelujah, that our praise, hallelujah, is beginning to activate. It's activate, 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 activate your calling. Activate your gifting. Activate your mind. Activate your spirit. Activate your relationship. Activate, activate, activate the plans of God. Activate the atmosphere. Activate over you. I decree today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. We thank you for the opportunity to give unto the Lord. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to give to God because he's real and he's still alive. And if God is alive, you can never outgive God. And so we're going to prepare for our offer. And I want everybody online to remember they got the cash app. Please, ECCI. And we're going to sanctify our offering today. We thank you. You can never outgive God. Let's lift our envelopes to heaven. I promise you, I told my children yesterday, I said, you can never outgive God. He said, test me. So God likes that. And so let's pray that God will open up a window for you. Father, we thank you for your glory. You don't have to show up like this. And so, Lord, it's an honor to be able to conduct your offering and your tithes. I pray for every envelope in this place that what's in heaven will begin to match your personal finance. What's in heaven will begin to match your resources. What's in heaven will begin to come upon your family as in heaven on earth. Father, we sanctify this giving in Jesus' mighty name. You may be dismissed by us.
if you feel joy, yeah. Get up on your feet, cause trauma don't last always. Trauma don't last always. Do you believe it now? Trauma don't last always. No, no, no. Trauma don't last always. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to need you guys to get excited that this is the day that the Lord has made. And I shall rejoice and I shall be glad. Y'all better act like our God got up and rose out of that tomb on today. You better get up and act like you got a reason to celebrate Jesus on today. Because when he laid down, they was, there was no hope. When he laid down, they thought it was over. I said when he laid down, they thought it was over. But God is so good. Jesus is so good. So you better get some victory in your spirit right now. You better act like you got a reason to praise. You better act like you got a reason to put your hands together because somebody didn't make it on today. Somebody's laying in the hospital bed. Somebody can't walk. Somebody can't talk. Somebody can't speak. But my God is a God of victory. My God is a God of resurrection. Jesus Christ lives on today. You better celebrate and get it in your spirit. Y'all better turn up. It's turn up Resurrection Sunday. You better turn up and give God the glory. You better turn up and give God the praise. I'm praising for my mother. I'm praising for my father. I'm praising for J-Love. I'm praising for my grandparents. I'm praising for my friends. I'm praising for good health. I'm praising for good wealth. Y'all better get a praise in your spirit and give God the glory. You better act like you got a reason. I got a reason. Somebody counted you out. Somebody counted you out. But because Jesus rose. Because Jesus rose. Because Jesus rose. I too shall live. I too shall fight. I too shall have victory. I too shall get the glory. Put your hands together and act like you know what you came to do today. Praise them, praise them, praise them. Give them all the glory. Give them all the honor. Give them all the praise. Forget about yourself. Forget about yourself. And concentrate on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords on this beautiful, unpromised, on this beautiful, unpromised day, Resurrection Sunday. Put your hands together for the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Put your hands together in the name of Jesus as we prepare for the Word. Keep that momentum. Keep that momentum. Keep that momentum because Jesus is using his vessel to bless us on today. There's a life-changing word. And if you want it, grab it in the atmosphere. There's something that was dead that is risen in your life today. So you better put your hands together and glorify the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It is my privilege and honor to stand before you on today blessing the man of God that will labor before the Lord to rise today to give you a word that is going to trickle down from generation to generation to generation to generation y'all better act like y'all came to eat today cause we ain't got time for no mess you better act like you came to get something it's a privilege and an honor to pray for my spiritual father the doctor of the house the man that is getting the manna from heaven put your hands together for our pastor see your pastor frederick j three break down that word come on give it to him 
If you got limbs on your knees, jump two times. Say, I can jump, I can talk, and I'm delivered. That's a good combination. I can think, feel your heart beat, say, I'm still alive. I've been counted out, but I'm still here. That's something to celebrate. Say, I'm still here. Say, I've been talked about, but I'm still standing. I don't have everything, but I got my right mind. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. If you're black, white, Hispanic, praise the Lord in this place. Online, praise him. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. See, I'm a witness of his power. See, I'm a witness of his goodness. It's so good to see you. Just look at your neighbor and say, it's good to see you that you are alive today. Just greet someone and say, it's good to see you that you are alive today. My radical daughter, Ashley Lorraine Jones. Amen. I see Mother Jones out there. God bless you, Mother. Got to see you. God bless you. I give honor to all of you online today. He's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. Good spirit, Tanya. I like it over there. I'm just looking for some good faces. It's good to see you. Look at your neighbor and say, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Sister Sharon. God see you. God bless you. God bless you. Her and her fiance. God bless you. She says, y'all going to get married, sir. So I'm supposed to be marrying you. So we need to talk. Amen. I'll put your business out there right now. Amen. She's taken and he's taken. So move on. Amen. Amen. Sheila told me to put, it was in my notes. She told me to do this. It's so good. Amen to you. Good to see you, Sister Nikki. God bless you. Good people, good people. I want you to stand and open your Bibles. God is a good God, and I'm so grateful that I'm still standing. As I journey with this great God, you know, you go ups, and you have your ups, and you have your downs. You have your courses of life. But he's a good God. I mean, he's a good God, and he's alive, and he's real to my soul. And I'm so glad that I'm saved and sanctified and filled with his Holy Spirit. Look at your neighbor and say, are you saved? If you're not saved, you're going to get saved today. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, if you're not saved, you're going to get saved today. Show a little illustration and we're going to display the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 through 15 thank you let's begin to read the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 it's a custom that we stand if you don't have a Bible please look at the monitors or the TV or you can look at someone's Bible the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 we have to get this this is the highlight no, no walking please I don't want you to get struck the Bible says and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh I don't know. It says you're being dead in your what? 
I mean, dead is dead. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know if, if I misread something. Dead is what? If you dead, you what? Dead. And somehow, you and I experience being dead based on sins. Sin is missing the mark. Sin is doing what the devil has tempted you. And you being dead in your sins, in the uncircumcision, that means that you're not in covenant with him anymore. And look at your neighbor and say, we cannot be uncircumcised in our relationship. You have to have a covenant. Circumcision means covenant. I'm just trying to help y'all theologians. Of your flesh. But then it says, he have he quickened together with him. Having forgiven you and your all what? Jesus, I mean, you, you dead, and then he said, what? He quickened together with him, not your neighbor, with him. Who is this him? Then it says, having forgiven you in a what? All trespasses. You dead, but he said he had forgiven you. I said, you dead, and he forgave you for all of your trespasses. Why would he just talk to the dead if he didn't have no idea of waking you up what he has decreed over your life? I said, I said you was dead for all of your trespasses. Verse 14. Then it goes on and says, blotting out the handwriting stay with me remember this now blotting out the handwriting look at your neighbor and say somebody wrote some on my behalf <laughs> of the orders that was against us somebody wrote something against us which was contrary to us And then, Crystal, he took it out of the way. <laughs> Say, so took it out of the what? Nailing it to his cross. I'm going to preach in this place. He nailed it where? 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 18. Apostle Paul purpose was to preach the cross. And whatever you preach and you live by, you're going to have the agony behind it. Agony brings the anointing. Or agony can make you quit. Who wants more anointing? Scream, I need more agony. Ashley changed her mind. She lifted her hands up and said, I want more anointing. And I said, you need more agony. She looked at her grandmother. She said, well, 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 well. I'm going to say it again. If you want more anointing, who wants more anointing? That means that you need more agony. The reason why people is not anointed because they don't want to go through the agony part. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. But Apostle Paul, for the preaching of the cross, is to them that perish foolishness. Never be an old fool. A fool doesn't believe in God. A fool doesn't believe that Jesus works. 
A fool don't believe in worship and honor. A fool don't believe in giving and tithing. But the Bible says everybody is not a fool. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, what category you fall in? I'm not calling you the fool. I'm just reading what the Bible said. But unto us, I put my name right under the us, which are saved. This, this gospel saved me. This gospel delivered me. I wish I had a talk back church. This gospel does something for me. You might think it's foolish, but I don't think it's foolish. But until which are saved, it is the power of God. I will title this sermon of this afternoon, Rescue by the Cross. Say, Rescue by the Cross. Heavenly Father, we stand before your holy and sovereign impeccable name be God like never before teach move save sanctify deliver in Jesus name amen you can be seated in the presence of God say rescue by the cross There is a monster within. We want to do right, but that thing that is in the flesh pushes us to do that which we would not. Do y'all know anything about that monster? Uh, my left ear is bothering me, so I got a lot of money in it, so you gotta scream a little bit. It is a monster within, which is sin. And we must realize that men do sin in this world. That there is a judgment to come. I got to balance this right now. And that God has reserved punishment for sinners in another world. A literal place of hell. Now I have to admit there is hell. And there is heaven. I, I know some preachers don't preach hell, but hell does exist. And hell, the sun never shines. And there's no tanning in hell. And hell, the grass never grows. The flowers never blossom. Because it's a place of total outer darkness. It's going to get better. And God sends no one to hell. Sin does. I wish I had somebody supporting a little 60-year-old. I said, God sends no one to hell. Sin does. And therefore, it is impossible to save yourself. But when you can get yourself into something, you didn't calculate how to get out of it. <laughs> but a person must repent. I'm trying to help you to get out of something. A person must what? Come on, I need to hear you. Must what? Of sin. 
Turn from the life of sin. Luke 13 and 5. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. So if you don't repent, Joseph, you will perish. Look at your neighbor and say, I am not too old to say I need to repent. Because <laughs> I have done some things before I even came to church. You had a mm, before you came. Scream, say, I need to what? Tracy called me this morning. I ra 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 ra. If y'all know her, I don't know if she here or not. I just said Tracy. There's a lot of Tracy in this world. And then my armor bearer said, what's going on? What's bothering your spiritual father? I said, repent. Somebody did something to man you, but I had to repent on their behalf. Somebody got to take the hits. And to how to get out of something, all you have to do is repent. There's no need to justify it. There's no need to say I'm a bad person. There's no need to have someone blaming and pointing the finger at yourself and say, I just need to repent. Doing this confession. Shut up, devil. Jesus becomes the center of your life. And all hell is going to break off in your life. All you have to do is what? And when you repent, now you make a shift and put Jesus in the center of your life. And when Jesus becomes the center of your life, hell must break out of your life. Let me get to the introduction. We're going somewhere. Scream again, repent. repent. Repent is changing from what she was doing. See, I need to change partners. The devil doesn't play well. I'd rather have Jesus than the devil. Is there anybody here that can say, I have been through some stuff? I mean, that was a question. Is there anybody who can say I am in some stuff now? Is there anybody that can say I'm just getting out of some stuff? And every day you go through those phases. But we need to do is serve notice on the devil. That despise what I have gone through and will go through that God has decreed that I shall survive. I come to tell you whatever you've been through and going through, say I'm going to what? I can't hear you. You're going to what? That sounds good. Say I'm going to what? Say I'm going to what? Of all that I've been through and going through and some stuff right now. Say, I'm going to what? Look at your neighbor and say, don't throw in the towel. God has decreed. I feel the Lord. God has decreed. The cross versus your good and bad choices. And it's an echo of bad choices coming after you and good choices. I'm going to balance it next week. But the Bible reminds me in the book of Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together. For the good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his what? But it's intriguing how. You can do bad and make bad choices. 
and God can still work it out. Oh, I know you don't like this. I know. I know you got haters and they, they can't understand it. But I, I was sitting there pondering. I said, God, how do I understand that you can take my bad choice and, and work it together um, for my good? Uh, it doesn't make sense, does it? Uh, you can do something wrong and God can work something together for your good. Let me give you the answer. Why he does this is because. He created you for his purpose. And so in other words, the devil is trying to hinder our purpose. And our God just don't jump into something if it's not based on purpose. So if God has been assisting you in assisting you in uh, assisting you is because you are on his purpose. Uh, that, that should make you shout right there. Uh, of all the things that you came out of his purpose and jumped in his purpose and came out of his purpose and he keep working in you because you are part of his purpose. Because the last time I checked that when I needed help, the devil didn't come by. Do I got a witness? Uh, hallelujah. The devil said, yeah, it was cool on Monday, but you got in some, but Tuesday, he lost, you lost. He said, this is disconnected. And you said, wait a minute here. I was just with you yesterday. That's how the devil is. He don't like nobody, including himself. So then you call on the name of Jesus, and the name Jesus came and rescued you. How he worked things together uh, when something is not defect and wrong typically people throw it away but thank God he didn't throw none of us away. Uh, hallelujah. Say, he didn't throw me away. Uh, hallelujah. When my neighbors say, that ain't nothing but trash, God said, no, there's still value in that. Uh, oh, Jesus, when you saw it, then told yourself that I'm nobody. But God said, I still see some value in it uh, because I created you. Uh, oh, Jesus, have mercy. Could you imagine uh, that you and I should have been in the trash can? But God said, no, I still see value. Oh God, look and say, look at your name and say, I'm valuable. In the Bible, I'm going somewhere. And, uh, Minister Brandon, get the cross, get the marker, look to the front of the people, please. In the Bible, uh, who have been in Rome before? Who been in Rome before? Somebody been in Rome? We got one, two, three people. If you've been in Rome, four, all right. Uh, nobody had been to Rome before, okay. <laughs> well, if you ain't never been, you can't talk about it yet. But in the Bible, Rome did very harsh towards people who made bad choices. And Italy is the country and Rome is the capital. In 1800, they had the death penalty, but they don't have it anymore. But when Jesus Christ was a Jew and they didn't believe that he was a Jew and 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 Jesus Christ walked the streets of Rome and whatever you're at there's laws and regulations and laws and regulations there was very harsh say harsh and so he had to deal with our bad choices because he had to take the penalty on our behalf and there was a custom, theologians, in Rome when a man was condemned for a crime, if he were put in prison, they would nail a certificate of debt to the prison door. <laughs> Did you get that, young lady? Could you imagine just driving down the street and seeing a big old certificate on the door? It's an indicator that you have committed a crime. And they wrote the crime details down what you've done. Because in Rome, they wanted everybody to know who was a criminal. You know, when people make crime, they do things, they don't want nobody to know. And you know people who Google you on CalhounCounty.org, they see you on the mugshot. 
And then they call somebody and say, guess who is locked up? <laughs> but it wasn't so bad as Rome. Rome puts your business right on your front door. Say front door. And on that certificate of debt would be written the crime that this man was guilty of. And the number of years that he would stay in prison in months or whatever. Well, put it on the door so when you had visitors coming, they're going to say, Lord, have mercy. You look like you got 10 years you're about to be serving. Oh, my God, you done this crime? And so now your business is out and everybody is calling you a criminal. You can't even hide it. Could you imagine being saved and someone put your certificate of your wrongdoing on your door? Then it goes on to the next realm. Stay with me, Andrew. If a man was guilty of capital offense and condemned to die, they would write that offense on their placard and nail it to his cross above his head. Brittany, it reminds me of Jesus because Jesus had a placard on his above his hat. And so in other words, Get my scripture, Isaiah and Colossians 2 again. When people, come on, you look very powerful. Come on, come on, she's scared. Come on, come on, we live, honey, we live. And I'm not going to do anything to you. <laughs> and Dot was on here. Brandon was on here. And you saw your name being a criminal. Tracy's name was on here. Two times, Tracy. Y'all don't know Tracy. <laughs> they made sure everybody's going to see double Tracy. Sharon's name was on here. And typically, this is a permanent stain. And when something's permanent, what can remove it? So the Bible, give me the next verse, Azaria. The Bible tells me when Jesus Christ was hanging on the cross, Oh, glory, have mercy. Come on, Don, quit thinking about her. Think about me. I said when Jesus Christ was on the cross, when Jesus Christ was on the what? Blotting out the handwriting. What blotted out the handwriting? God developed the first permanent marker. It was the blood. I feel like preaching. I'm just getting started. I, 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 I said, I said there was some handwriting and said Tracy should die at three o'clock and, and Sharon should die at one o'clock and, 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 and Sister Dot should die at five o'clock. But God looked at it and said, I got to blot this out of this handwriting of the ordinance that was uh, against us uh, and was contrary to us. He said, I can't let Tracy die like this. And, and he was hanging on a cross and, and he said, I need something to remove this stain off him. And he said, I don't got no pencil object. There's no lows. There's no staples. Huh? But I got something can remove that. It's my own blood. And the blood became the permanent marker. And the beloved time they hit him, huh? the blood went on the cross and began to race it. Huh? Every time they smacked him huh? and pulled him, huh? the blood shot up on the cross. Huh? They thought it was winning, but God. 
God was erasing the stains off your life. And he said, hit me, because every time you hit me, that's why he had to stay there for a long time until he said it was finished, because he was counting everybody's name. He was counting your name. He said, I got 10 more to go, and I got another 30 minutes. And he was bleeding, and he was bleeding. He was hurt. And he said, I can't quit because I got a lot of names that I had to array. Hey. Thank you, son. Say a raise. Say, I feel like preaching. Let me get to my text. Uh, the Bible says uh, in, in the book of Colossians, uh, I mean the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, chapter 1, verse 18. Uh, let's bring my text up this afternoon. Uh, look at your neighbor, said the handwritings. Uh, it's gone off my life. Uh, how does that make you feel? Come on, Don, get my key band. Uh, how does that make you feel? Uh, that your handwriting was blotted out. Uh -huh. Said it should have been me. 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 But somebody had to pay the price. Uh -huh. Say the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Uh -huh. Say the blood. I feel like preaching. So in my text, the Bible says, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness the Lord said don't be a fool you better discern and get this right but unto which are saved is the power of God so every since Lucifer sinned and became the devil he has been in the business of trying to hinder the work of God and when Jesus went to the cross the devil thought he won the victory that day. Lord have mercy. And I'm sure he rejoiced when Jesus cried out, it is finished. That's what you said, Mother Payne. Watch this. I said, I sure he rejoiced when Jesus Christ said it was finished. But when, but what the devil did not know that the day was that the Lord Jesus uh, was not planning to stay dead. Uh, I said he was not planning to stay dead. Uh, but Satan thought he was going to stay dead. Uh, every fool and every satirian uh, thought he was going to stay dead. Uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say my God was not planning to stay dead. Uh, can I preach in this place? Uh, but maybe the devil should have listened closer I said he should have listened closer Jesus did not say I'm finished he said it is finished can I preach in my tailored suit I said Jesus did not say I'm finished it is finished I said God what are you saying I said when it's finished all the the paperwork uh, that was on the cross uh, it is finished. Uh, God said that was the paperwork uh, that when I said it's finished, uh, everything about co-pastor file, uh, it was finished. Uh, everything about your file, uh, it was finished. Uh, he said that was the paperwork, uh, but I am not finished say I'm not but God said I never said I was finished so see you got to understand that is not by your power but it's by, by his might it is not because you are all that in the bag of chips but it is by the grace of God today let us be reminded that we have been save and rescue at the cross our enemy was defeated say at the cross our enemy was defeated so Satan attempt to destroy Christ at the cross 
but his plans backfire. Say backfire. The devil thought he had you, but his plans backfire. He didn't calculate everything. Say backfire. Say backfire. You still standing today because your hater, it backfired on them. They wanted you to die, but it backfired while they was digging the ditch. You're digging your own ditch because I ain't going in that ditch. Can I preach? Say backfire. So this Jesus destroys Satan and the cross on Friday about sundown oh, he took Jesus down from the cross it appeared that Satan had won the battle but on Sunday morning something happened look at your neighbor and say never underestimate a champion you can hit me you can punch me but I ain't nothing but a champion never underestimate a champion our God was a champion so Christ walked out of the grave alive from the dead God raised him just as he promised redemption was accomplished Satan was defeated in the Bible first John 3 and 8 for this purpose the Son of God was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil look at your neighbor and say never be a devil because if you a devil God gotta destroy you but I got some devils that's trying to harm me but thou don't know that my God was made to destroy my devils this defeat can be traced back to the cross I told diabetes this morning you've been defeated back on the cross sickness has been defeated back on the cross cancer has been defeated back on the cross laziness has been defeated back on the cross fornication has been defeated back on the cross look at your neighbor and say I ain't got to fight no more I ain't got to justify myself I ain't got to cry no more it's been defeated 2,000 years ago if you save then you rest assured that the cross is our lives we're transformed now the devil is looking at you and say I'm a metamorphosis I was in the cocoon I was in the grave I was in the cocoon but when the cocoon comes out the butterfly looks better than the cocoon you was hit wreck a sinner a drunk in the prison in the cocoon but the science taught me where that got it from the three days revival stay in the cocoon until the Lord brings you out say I was a sinner but I'm about to look like a butterfly I had an attitude but I look like a butterfly look at your neighbor and say do you want to be a butterfly you ain't got to stay in the cocoon don't look like you in hell say I gotta come out of it say I'm about to fly out of it can I preach so at the cross our souls were saved at the cross our debt was paid at the cross 
uh, our enemy uh, was defeated uh, is still the cross uh, scream say is still the cross uh, say is still the cross uh, every time the devil mess with you uh, say is still the cross uh, every time you get down uh, say is still uh, the cross uh, it is the blood uh, on Calvary uh, that was uh, white as snow uh, that cleanses uh, every sin uh, Bleach couldn't do it uh, gain couldn't do it uh, for breeze couldn't do it uh, mama dishwasher couldn't do it uh, but there was a blood uh, that washes uh, and set uh, a captive free uh, I don't know about you uh, but look at your neighbor uh, and say I'm stainless uh, say I'm stainless uh, say I'm stainless uh, you can keep looking uh, but you can't find it uh, it was there uh, but the blood uh, the blood uh, washes me uh, say it's still uh, the cross uh, Jesus uh, paid it all uh, remember the name uh, of Jesus Christ uh, who rescued you uh, who need to be rescued uh, all of us uh, was in the county uh, all of us uh, was in hell uh, and we didn't have nobody to call uh, but there was one name uh, that we could have called uh, his name is Jesus uh, are you standing today uh, are you thankful today uh, are you delivered today uh, I ask the question uh, are you delivered uh, are you standing uh, are you thankful uh, are you living uh, are you surviving uh, should have been crazy uh, should have been in jail uh, should have been in dead uh, but you're still standing uh, say it's still the cross uh, are you not guilty uh, today uh, it's amazing uh, how you go to trial uh, and plead guilty uh, but then the judge uh, it's the same God uh, who's defending you uh, and say you're not guilty uh, the same devil uh, got killed out of hell uh, and committed a sin uh, and he was never acquitted uh, of saying not guilty uh, every day uh, he's guilty uh, I think you missed it uh, the devil sin uh, I sin uh, but the Lord tells me uh, not guilty uh, but he tells the devil uh, you're guilty the devil uh, can't understand it uh, he said they sinned uh, they did wrong uh, I messed up too uh, I was your favorite angel uh, but the Lord uh, evicted him uh, but he rescued us uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say I can't be prideful uh, I'm rescue uh, where my rescue people uh, say I'm rescue uh, I'm no longer a slave uh, today but I'm a child of God I'm no longer a cheater today but I'm a child of God I'm no longer a thief today but I'm a child of God it feels like medicine in my spirit I'm no longer born out of wedlock today but I'm a child of God say I'm a child of God I'm no longer cursed today but I'm a child of God say my curse days is not me say I'm a child of God Satan has been defeated for the saints you and I to have victory say victory are you happy are you excited say victory I am a child of God I've been adopted merged over I was under darkness but Jesus 
took me out of darkness. Are you thankful that you was in and you couldn't get out? You were stuck and you couldn't get up. But the blood, I said the blood, I said the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood reaches high and reaches low. See the blood find places that man can't clean. The blood find the ugly cracks. The blood find the ugly places that where you won't clean. Some people can clean the toilet, but they don't put their hand in the toilet. But the Lord put his hand in all your fields. He didn't let that stop him to love you. Look at your neighbor and say, you won't put your hand in my manure, in my stuff. But Jesus put his hand in all of your lust, all of your fornication, all of your stealing. He put his hand in there. He said, I'm not prideful. If I love you, I got to save you. If I love you, I got to save you. If I made you, I got to deliver you. So he wasn't boozy. So I'm talking to the boozy people. If you're boozy, this message ain't for you. But I'm talking to somebody who is thankful that somebody made your mess clean, better. You can Google me and I'm clean. You can research me. The blood covers me. You can Google me. You can research me and come back and say the blood. Say the blood. I don't look like it. I did it, but I don't look like it. Look at your neighbor and say, I did it, but I don't look like it. It. I said it, but I don't look like it. I did have sex with you, but I ain't catch nothing. Say God is good. Did you know every time the devil tricks you, he wanted you to die. Every time you put the blunt, the joint, the liquor, the fornication, something should have happened, but the blood jumped in the bed. The blood jumped in your heart. The blood told the judge dismiss the case. The judge dismissed the case. The drunk driver should have killed you. But the angel protected you. I've been in several accidents. Sitting in my car going 70 miles an hour and it hit me in my back. Came out with no back problems huh? when my hands lifted huh? who did it huh? it wasn't none but the blood because huh? the devil tried to kill me huh? but the Lord said no huh? look at your neighbor huh? and say I'm the head huh? and not the tail huh? say I'm a Linda huh? and not a baller huh? say that Jesus huh? rescue me huh? Say, look at your neighbor huh? and say don't Google me huh? you ain't gonna find nothing huh? look at your neighbor neighbor and say you can't find me you can't trace it you can't trace it you can't trace it say you can't trace it but what can you trace is the blood that's why the devil he said I was with you dot but he can't trace it because the blood covered to prove that somebody is guilty you gotta have facts you gotta have evidence Look at your neighbor and say, where the evidence? Say, where the evidence? Tracy, where the evidence? Deacon Gray, where the evidence? Paula, where the evidence? Every time somebody try to make me feel bad, say, where the evidence? If you can find it, prove yourself. Make me guilty. But you can't prove it because the Lord said like double jeopardy if I've been sentenced 
to be indeed. You can't recharge me. Say double jeopardy. Lord have mercy. Where they get that from? The dead of Jesus. You can't charge me twice. If you charge me once, the devil charged me once. Put me in the grave. I came back. He said, wait a minute. You can't charge me twice because double jeopardy. So the blood is like double jeopardy. Scream not guilty. Say not guilty. Let everything in hell hear you. Say not guilty. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Scream. I said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say, I'm not guilty. Say, I'm going to walk out with my hands lifted up. I'm going to walk out with my head lifted up. Look at your neighbor and say, excuse me. I'm not guilty. Excuse me. I'm not committed to this crime. Look at the cross. And every time you look at the cross and say, I don't see my name. I don't see Brandon. I don't see co-pastor. I don't see Grace. Because it's unpermanent. And every morning, the devil is trying to scrub it. He's trying to remove Ashley. He said, I don't got no chemical. Because ain't got no chemical can outdo the blood. Lord have mercy mercy. There is not a chemical can remove the blood, but there's the same chemical of the blood can remove all chemicals. There is not one chemical can remove the blood. They can buy everything over the shelf. Before I left, I said, do you got anything to get the blood of Jesus out? They said, the wrong store. I want the family fair. I said, do you got any product? can remove the blood of Jesus. They said the wrong store. Try Staples. Try Walmart. I went to Walmart. I said, I need to see the manager. I got a big, big, big issue. Do you got anything can remove the blood of Jesus? He said, wait a minute. Sure not. Is something new came out yet? I said, I'm searching, sir. He said, try Maya. I went to Maya. I need to see the manager. Do you got anything? can remove the blood of Jesus they said no have you tried a comic I said that don't work have you tried bleach I said that don't work have you tried yourself I said that don't work what about gain Ty tells me that everything comes out in Ty detergent I tried that that didn't work I come to tell you nothing 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 can remove the blood. <laughs> Say the blood <laughs> is permanent. <laughs> you can't move it. <laughs> you can block me. <laughs> you can dislike me. <laughs> you can stop talking to me. <laughs> but you can't remove <laughs> the blood on my life. <laughs> Rewind <laughs> for people. <laughs> like saying stop to the hand. <laughs> Your hand <laughs> is not going to stop me. <laughs> you blocking me. <laughs> it's not going to stop me. <laughs> because the blood uh, is keeping me. Uh, look at your neighbor uh, and say fit in. Uh, join in. Uh, be about uh, your father's business. Uh, keep playing the blood. Uh, but one thing uh, that rescue you uh, say the blood. Uh, so tell every demonic uh, every devil uh, I'm defeated. Uh, I'm over. Uh, I'm an overcomer. Uh, I'm alive. I'm sanctified. I'm free. I'm blessed. I'm happy. I'm forgiven. I'm washed. I'm happy. I got peace. Depression is gone. The body's gone. 
everything in my life is gone. The marriage that went bad, look at your neighbor and say, plead the blood. He broke up with you, plead the blood. They did your own, plead the blood. All you gotta do is plead the blood. Grab somebody's hand and say, let's touch and agree. The same blood is in you. The same blood that sanctified me. Say, we blood brothers. We blood sisters. Say, blood brother. Blood sister. Look at your neighbor and say, you my blood brother. You my blood sister. He say, say it. Say, blood brother. Blood sister. Say, you all right? Because the blood flows in you. Say, you all right? The blood flows in you. You alive because the blood flows in you. Say the blood. Say the blood. What can wash my sins away? Nothing but the. What can wash my sins away? What can wash my sins away? Nothing but the blood. Say nothing, 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 nothing. Say nothing. Come on, give God a hand, pray. Say, I'm rescue. Come on, say, I'm rescue. Say, I'm rescue. Say, I'm rescue. Yes. Say, I'm rescue. Say, I'm rescue. Hallelujah. Lift those hands. Lift those hands. Because God wants to reinstate you. Got a few more minutes. I feel a, a really push this morning of, of an altar. The Lord showed me that the devil had a lot of people locked up and the locks are being broken. Unlock. And God told me the gifts that I gave to them, some people has aborted them. But the blood this morning comes to revive it. Say revive. And all of us in here has aborted some of our gifts. And God said you're not going to be known as a spiritual abortion. And today, God said, if you will break your pride and say, I want to be reinstated. There are things that God said he wants to reunite you again. I gave you the gift. You made a mistake. You did some foolish. But today, God said he wants you to try it again. Some of you stop going to school. Stop. You stop this. You stop this. And you've done this. And guilt has played a big part of your life. But God said, you're not a guilty person. I give you the same grace to reinstate you again. Who wants to do it again? There's some things in my life I'm going to go back. There's some people that you got to say, I'm sorry to. There are people who have harmed you, but there, guess what? There's some people that you have harmed too. There are people that you have done wrong too. But God said he's going to give you the anointing for you to go back and say, I'm sorry. God said, the gift that I gave you, that I'm going to revive you again. Who want to be reinstated? There's some things in your life that you want to do again. But God said, I'm going to give you that anointing again to do it again. A lot of things that you want to do. And you thought your life was over in that area. You thought it was over with, but God said it's not over. This anointing of this afternoon, at this moment, Abel Shah, there's anointing that God can restate you. And you're going to do it all over again. Say all over again. Say all over again. Kundabasaka. See, the devil knew that that gift was going to destroy his kingdom. 
And so he fought you and fought you and made you do the opposite of your gift. But the Lord said, no, 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 no. I'm the God of a second chance. I'm the God of the second chance. And God is about to give somebody another chance. Say another chance. Go, Pastor, get the oil, please. Come quickly, come quickly. If you want this prayer, I want to pray for you. Let's move quickly. Say another chance. Say God is about to reinstate me. Do not allow the enemy to trick you. Move quickly. Move quickly. God is going to reinstate you. There's names that I see right now that God is speaking. Things that you have aborted. Things that you have stopped. But God is going to restate you now. Move quickly. Move quickly. Change. Keep praying. Oil. Put the oil on them, Cole. Minister Brandon, I want you to minister too with me. Come on. Come. 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 Come, don't don't let the enemy trick you. Come. Oh, change. Come on, co-pastor. Change. I'm so glad he changed me. Pray, pray. Change. Change. I'm so glad. Spread them out, son. He changed me. Change, come, come, come. Change. I'm so glad. I'm so glad he changed me. Change. I'm changed. I'm so glad he changed me. I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm so glad. He changed me, he changed me, I'm so glad he changed me, I'm changed, I'm changed, I'm so glad he changed me, I'm changed, changed, rearranged me. Change, lift those hands. I'm changed. Come, 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 come. I'm changed. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I declare. You change me. I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm so glad. He changed me. I'm changed. I'm changed. Change, 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 change. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. He Ashley, changed come up here. Me. I'm so glad. Change, change. I'm changed. Pray for Damon. Hey, I'm, I'm so, so glad. glad he changed me. I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm changed. Oh, I'm changed. In my mind, de Bohosa. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come I'm against. Glad he changed I come me. against. I come against. I come against. I'm glad. I come against. I come against. I'm glad he changed me. 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 I'm changed. I'm changed. I'm so glad he changed me. Change me. I'm changed. Change me. I'm changed. Change me. So glad he changed me. Yes. Power. I'm changed. Power. I'm changed. Power. I'm so glad he changed. Restore. Me. He changed. Restore. Me. Restored me. He restored me. Restored me. He restored me. Restored me. He restored me. Change. When he changed. 
change me. Change. He restore me. In the name of Jesus. When he changed me. I bet he changed restore to him, Jesus. Me. Alanda, I want to pray for you, but you don't I'm mind. Changed. Oh, here. I'm changed. Here. I'm changed. 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 I'm so glad you changed me. 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 Thank you. You changed me. Thank you for changing me. Thank you for changing me. Oh, thank you for changing me. My heart cries. Thank you. My soul cries. Thank you. My soul cries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Change me. You change me. You change me. Oh, restoration is mine. Oh, restoration is mine. Restoration is mine. Restoration is mine. You change, change. me. Change me. Change me. Change me deep down. Change by the power. Change by the power. Rapper, rapper, rapper. Inside out, inside out. You change me. Change me. Change me. Change me. Will you change me? Change me. Will you change me? Change me. Oh, thank you, Lord, for changing me. Hey, thank you, Lord, for changing me. Thank you, Lord, for changing me. Oh, thank you, Lord, for changing me. Nobody did it. You change me. Nobody did it. It's you, Lord. Nobody did it but you, Lord. Nobody did it. 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 Nobody did it but you, Lord. Hey. But you, Lord, oh, but you, Lord, huh, but you, Lord, with your power, hey, with your grace, God, huh, with your power, oh, with your grace, God, huh, with your blood, your blood, your blood, oh, your blood, oh, your blood, oh, your undoing oh, blood. Jesus. You're God is working on her. Blood. God is working on her. You're oh, blood. Jesus. Saving blood. Receive it, Alanda. Pray Change for it. Tracy, pray with Alanda. Hey. Saving blood. Hey. Change I declare me. the unction of your body. Blood. A restoration of healing. Me. You're saving Every blood. time you wake up, you're you healed. Rescued me. By the power you of the Holy Ghost. Me. From the drips of darkness, hey. you rescue me. Rescue me. From the grips of darkness, rescue me. You rescue me. Rescue me. You rescue me. Rescue you me. Rescue me. Rescue me. Rescue me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You rescue me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You rescue me. Nobody but you. 
Nobody but rescue, you, Lord. Rescue, Nobody rescue. but you. Hey, Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Hey, Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Hey, Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. Nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you, Nobody but you Lord. Enduring blood. Rescuing blood. Rescue. Delivering blood. Oh, Jesus. Delivering blood. Healing blood. Hey. Your healing blood. Hey. Your healing blood. Your healing blood. Save me. Change me. Restore. Daughter me. Priscilla, hold tight. Rescue me. Shantita. Just re. Shantier, Shantier, Shantier has received Jesus Christ and her the Savior of her life. She just got saved right there. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, he still saves. He still delivers. He's still purging. He's still making a way. Father, I thank you. 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 He's still worthy. My God, my God. Hey, my shit. He's still worthy. Oh, my God. My table, shit, my shit. He's still worthy. Deliverance delivers in this place. He's still worthy. There's the anointing of deliverance. There's a never. There's anointing of deliverance. Give me two minutes. Is anything that's taking place in your lower kidneys, in your liver, stomach digestion? I want to pray for you. There's a deliverance in this place. If it's you, come quickly. If it's you. There's some deliverance and there are some dates that you have, have on the calendar and God is going about to do something very peculiar on your life. Deliverance. I mean, immediately deliver. If it's you, come quickly. I, I, I see it all in your kidneys and your liver and digestive system. And God wants to do something quickly. A deliverance. A deliverance. If it's you, quickly come. I just want to lay hands on you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. If you want to be delivered from something. And whatever your something is, God said, I can deliver you. Now. I said now. If it's you, come up here quickly quickly move quickly is anything that you've been rationing with deliverance move quickly move quickly deliverance break in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost break 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 now do not return back to her body again break now break now break now Totally deliverance. Now. 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 Every genetic curse, every family curse, break off you. Now. Now. Move quickly if it's you. Hands lifted. Break off her right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Now. Cancel it. Now. Now. Oh, say. Now, Shibante, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, now, oil is immediately moved quickly, anointing, now, off her life, remove every deliverance, whatever that is, break off of her, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, move, now, my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Now, say, say, they about anybody else move quickly now. Hey, go, Pastor. Come as I take my seat. Oh, Jesus. Come on up here, Cole. Glory. Oh, 
Toro Babasi Amasaka. What a mighty God we serve. What a glorious God we serve. And we just thank God for his presence. And we just thank God for his glory in this place. And what he has purpose for us in this moment on this Resurrection Sunday. How many of you are glad that the cross has saved you? The cross has set you free. The cross, if it wasn't for the Lord on our sides, I don't know where we would be. Yes, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where will we be? I don't even want to think about where we would be. All I can say is thank God that he was on our side, that he kept us. We have some of our young people who are going to um, deliver and express their um, love for Christ and uh, and recognize this day of resurrection. So I, I don't know if I'm giving it to Sister Paula or whoever the uh, children are, Sister Paula. Let's clap our hands for Sister Paula Stein. And <laughs> as she comes forth and we have some of our older young people who are going to give this expression. Praise the Lord. So this year we're going to have one flame out of each age bracket represent their age. Sister J. Love. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. I hope all of you have a good Easter. Thank you. She is not a officially a flame by age, but by spirit she is. When it is time to give God glory and represent his name, she's. Sister Malaysia. verses 1 through 32. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found out the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed, thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed on their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. And returned to the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and other women that are with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as Otto says, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. 
And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emus, which is from Jerusalem, about three score furlongs. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together in reason, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk in our sad? And the one of them whose name was Cleopas, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are kind of passed there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And besides this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, a certain woman also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found out his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which said that he was alive. A certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the woman had said, but him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools are slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. All not Christ have suffered these things and to enter into his glory. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them and all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh to the village where they went, and he made his way, he would have gone further. But they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went into tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and brake it against them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said one to another, Did not our heart burn within us while he talked with us by the way, while he opened to us the scriptures? <laughs> to know that you know that you know and the Lord left record for us to know so that's why it's important to know and you know by reading your word sister Layla Joy replaced despair, hope punished past fear, life conquered death, not just that day, but for eternity. We celebrate the resurrection of Christ for what it meant then and what it means for us every day. A sacrifice that brings forgiveness, renewal, and peace to any of us who put our faith in Jesus. pastor. Amen. We thank God for our young people and our children and we just thank God for this day that we have come together all together to celebrate his resurrection. You look beautiful and uh, you look like you know him. You look like you know him. And so we thank God for that. We're um, going to ask that you would stand and so we can close out this service. Um, Sister Malaysia and Sister Layla, I need to see you in my office and Jay Love immediately following this service. I need to see you in my office. I'm not the principal, so they're not in trouble, so I don't think that <laughs> I just need to see them. All right, so Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everything that you have done on our behalf and that you continue to do. We thank you for the soul that you have saved, that you have snatched out of hell today by her confession that you are God and you are God over her life. We thank you for the work that you have done in us and to us and through us. And for that, we give you praise, glory, and honor. We ask that you would be with us, even as we leave this place, but not from your presence. We thank you that you are following us and that you're with us and we can be the light that this world so desperately need. God, we thank you, we praise you, that you would keep us, 
until we come together again and we give you glory. Bless our overseer. Give him the strength, oh God, and pour back into him everything that he has poured out unto us. And we give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank God and amen.